Hello, this is David with Piano Clubhouse and today I would like to show you how to play the song Stay the Night by Z. This song is played in the key of G sharp major and in G sharp we use the following accidentals starting from G sharp, A sharp, C, G sharp, D sharp, F, G and G sharp. So let's start from the first verse and let's see what's going on right here. from C sharp major and the idea is the following let's always start with the bass the right hand we move the right hand up and down and we press this other key on the left hand not the bass the other while the right hand is up so here the bass is C sharp the right hand is G sharp C sharp and D sharp so let's go bass and right hand one we move the right hand up and down and we press the other C sharp while the right hand is up 1, C sharp 2, C sharp 3, C sharp 4, C sharp. So we start like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we go to the next chord. We do the same thing just in D sharp major chord. So the bass is D sharp, the right hand is G and D sharp. <coughs> so bass and right hand 1. D sharp, right hand, D sharp, right hand, D sharp. So one, two, three. So here we just play three, two, three. Then we go to the next chord, F sharp. And here again we play three. Bass F sharp, right hand G sharp, D sharp. So let's go one, F, right hand F, right hand F. One, two, three. And then the right hand keeps being the same. And on the bass we use C. And this chord is G sharp over C. So let's go bass and right hand. One, C, right hand C. One, C, two, C. So this is what is going on. Let's go to the first chord again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second chord. One, two, three, third chord. One, two, three, fourth chord. One, two. as long as is necessary till the end of the verse so this is the verse a little faster and the end of the verse can be right here with C on the bass one two and now it starts the chorus so the chorus can be separated in three parts. The first is this one. So this is the first part. Let's see what is going on. Here we use a few chords. The first is F uh, minor. So F F on the bass on the left hand. Sorry, F F right hand G sharp C and F. Let's go for it. Let's press the whole chord with both hands. F. Then we go to the second chord. This is D sharp over G. So G, G on the left hand. Uh, A sharp and D sharp on the right. So we press it. Then we have G sharp. So G sharp on the bass. Uh, D sharp also on the left hand. Right hand D sharp, C and D. Sorry, G sharp, C and D sharp. So so far we have F, D sharp over G and G sharp. And the last three, uh, D sharp, sorry, A sharp with seven, A sharp minor with seven. The bass is A sharp. Also we have F on the right hand is G sharp and C sharp. And then. G sharp over C, C on the bass, G sharp, D sharp on the right hand. And then the bass goes to C sharp, and the, C and the D sharp goes to F on the right hand. And this is C sharp major. So let's go one more time. F, D sharp over G, G sharp. A 
sharp G sharp over C C sharp so the idea is this let's start with the first chord one two three four one two one two in the first chord we count one two three four and in the second and third chord one two three four one two one is like one two one two the one really comes immediately after the four of the first chord of the previous chord or the two of the previous chord the thing is that we don't wait like one two three four and then one two one two but it, the one it comes really fast uh, in the second and third chord one two three four 